Hi everyone, my name is Jess and I just got a delivery from Dell. This is the brand new XPS 13 and I can't wait to show you the specs and everything else about this. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. It would help me out a lot and you'll be reminded that every single Monday I do post new content. Okay, so you are here because you want my review of the brand new XPS 13. I haven't seen one of these since Dell Tech World. I was blown away in person. They have sent me the best of the best spec. I can't wait to test it out. I'm probably going to use it for personal, doing some video editing like this video, and just give you my overall experience. I don't have a personal laptop. I have a gaming system over here that I use after hours in my personal time, but I really don't have a laptop for, you know, surfing, surfing the web and doing video editing on a laptop. So this will give me a lot more flexibility. And I wanna take a look at everything and anything. So let's dive right into it. I am super, super excited about this. Now, I'm almost nervous. I think you can feel the nervous energy <laughs> or exciting energy that I have with this. And, ooh, okay, so it already says Snapdragon Compute. I'm excited. I don't know if you can see my face. Maybe I'll just turn it over a bit here. Okay. All right. What is going on here? Okay. All right, Dell. So we have a little box here. I'm just going to check what's underneath. So everything, everything seems to be in this tiny little box. Just gonna make sure that there's nothing else here. All right, it's been a long time since I've unboxed a personal computer. Now this is the XPS box. Sorry guys, I just wanna see what's happening here. This, this is nice, the packaging is really really nice all right let's just get into it here oh welcome to dell let's do great things together let's take a look <gasps> okay so if you've been following this channel for a little bit you know that i just got a brand new latitude and it is thin but this this is thin. Oh, okay, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna look at it yet. Just put it here. I'm very excited. So we have the power adapter, and it is different than the other one that I have. So let's just take a look at everything from a, an adapter standpoint. Just trying not to manhandle as you guys would say the cables and unboxing so that's a type c and where is the there it is okay exactly what i was thinking so they give you a qr code for my dell to get everything set up and connected and they really just tell you how to plug in your computer in case someone does not know how to do that so let's move that aside put it back there's the adapter i assume i can use the one that i already have for my latitude but that's it that's the that's the box it's really nice i like the thought and i'm gonna have to see what is that made out of from a recycle recyclable moment there we go Welcome to Dell. Okay, this is the this is the shot, everyone. If you're ready. <gasps> so tiny. I don't know why. Why do I whisper? <gasps> this. Wow. Okay. What? So 
So this was showing me that the trackpad, if I go back, is right in the middle and at the top. Wow, with the Snapdragon X Elite, this is nice. <sighs> All right, do I turn it on? This is stunning. Let's get to the B-roll, let's plug it in, turn it on, and let's take a look at this great laptop. All right, I'm in front of my computer now. I'm gonna set it up. I don't think I've set up a personal laptop in years. So doing that right now, this is, I like that there's no visibility of where the trackpad is. It's just there. And then there's, <gasps> there is smart buttons or premier buttons here at the top. I'm going to figure out what the right terminology is. Keep in mind, I do work at Dell, but I am a user of Dell products. I am not selling laptops. I don't know the ins and outs. So if you want to correct me, correct me in the comments below but I'm strictly a user, very excited about technology here and just how this would work. So I'm gonna pick Canada, multilingual. As this is checking for updates, initial reaction. You can see a little bit of my greasy fingerprints here on the trackpad, uh, but it is smooth and I really like the feeling of the keyboard. Let's just name this device, Jess personal can't contain only numbers and no spaces okay All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and let this load here. I am a little bit shocked of how beautiful and stunning this XPS is. Let me walk you through the specs that I have decided to go with. Now this is the Snapdragon X Elite X. 1E8100. Now that's up to 12 cores to 3.4 gigahertz dual core boost up to 4 gigahertz. Now it has come with the Windows 11 Pro operating system that does come either in English, Brazilian, Portuguese, French, or Spanish. Now the GPU on this is the Qualcomm Adreno and the display that I have gone with is the 13.4 touchscreen and 3K 60 hertz OLED and I have gone with the 32 gigabytes of memory. I believe it goes all the way up to 64. The storage here that I have is one terabyte and the color I have chosen graphite and you do get to activate your free 30-day trial with Microsoft 365 if you are currently using that as well as your McAfee business protection one year. A lot of you came at me and asked a few questions on, hey, is the keyboard touchpad plastic or glass? Well, with this XPS, it is glass. You can feel it. It is a completely different feel than any laptop that I felt. Very similar if you are a Mac user, very similar to the look and feel there. I am just going through the settings. If you need help getting your Windows laptop set up, probably don't watch this video because I go through it relatively quick. So I'm not really explaining to you how I set it up. I am just walking you through that initial setup and what that looks like. And I will go through a more in-depth video of how the camera works. What is it like compared to my desktop? And maybe I can do some gaming even or light gaming. I have used this laptop for the last four weeks personally, and I do love having it on the couch or on my kitchen island as my children are playing. It is a game changer changer for sure to have a personal device that is not a PC. All right. Now, if you're watching this video and you're like, okay, what is the Snapdragon X Elite? Why did you get this laptop? What is it? Well, it's a couple things. So the Snapdragon X Elite is really built for AI acceleration. So with its advanced AI capabilities, the Snapdragon X Elite enables smoother multitasking as per marketing, improved performance and application, higher performance per watt, right? These are the processors that are on smartphones. So there's some really great connectivity, Wi-Fi technologies built in, 5G 
connectivity included. So if I were not to read the marketing details about this, it would really be about the integrated graphics that are super powerful with this card, as well as the connectivity is really what, what is shining here. I'm going to go ahead and try it out in my next video from a gamer perspective to see what type of games can I play with this processor um, and GPU built in. Now here are the tech specs on dimensions and weight. As I mentioned, it is very, very slim. I'm going to show you how slim it is right after this clip, but here you go for the people that are asking, hey, what are the dimensions? There you go. And mine is the OLED one. All right, so here is the close-up at night of the backlit keyboard. Wanted to show you the top buttons that are not actually buttons, but they are touchpad in the back row there that you can see. They are fully customizable. You can pick whatever you want in, um, in the Dell settings. And there is the lovely OLED screen. I'm going to go ahead and open up a video so that you can see what that looks like. Here we go. It is a touch screen as well. Very responsive. I'm going to head over to my YouTube channel, which is just renamed Just Tech Spice. If you're new here, I used to be called Sales Spice. So that might be news to you or not if you are frequent follower. And here we go. Here is the screen. This is an absolutely stunning laptop. Look how thin this laptop is. I can't believe, look at, look at that. Super thin, super lightweight. I can really see taking this on the road with me, even with my work laptop, I don't see it being an issue to bring both. It probably weighed as much as it did with my old laptop. But uh, yeah, like, look guys, stunning, wow. Okay, so if you've made it this far in the review, I have to say I am super excited to be using this on a daily basis to do all of my editing of YouTube videos and Instagram shorts. If you don't have me on Instagram, Jess underscore Pettigrew is a little bit more lifestyle and a little bit more about my personal life on that feed, but this is really a shocking laptop. I haven't seen the XPS in a very long time and I will answer all your comments. If you're wondering in the next three to four weeks, am I still using it? How am I finding it? It does have a small screen compared to some of the larger monitors that I'm used to with editing, but I'm excited to finally have something that I can step away from my desk. I can work from the couch, the kitchen table, or even on the road with this. So if you like this type of video and you wanna see more content, comment, like, share, subscribe. It helps me continue to make free content for you every single week. And on that note, I'll see you next week. Take care.